within certain tumor types, um, the, the rules are uh, pretty well defined. Um, and for example, in the low grade appendiceal mucinous neoplasm or lamin, which is probably one of the more common uh, indications that, uh, uh, upon which we operate, um, there are pretty much very few people who are not candidates for surgery. And generally those are people who've had multiple prior cytoreductions before um, or have developed what we describe as end-stage disease. But the vast majority of patients that we see, uh, we are able to bring to surgery and successfully cytoreduce. Uh, for colon cancer and appendix adenocarcinoma, so formal cancers, um, we do take a lot of uh, stock in uh, tumor biology. So understanding whether or not someone's tumor is responding to therapy. Uh, because it's not just the site reduction that matters, but it's also the month off chemo before surgery and the month or two off chemo after surgery. So we're bracketed by about two to three months on, on either side uh, of surgery. And if your tumor is not responding to chemo and then we hold it for surgery, we're going to find a lot more disease than we had hoped for uh, on exploration. So for the more uh, uh, aggressive tumors, uh, we rely heavily on biology. Mesothelioma, uh, there are some tricks uh, therein, and it depends a lot on the specific uh, type of mesothelioma. Uh, and for gastric cancer, uh, these are really patients with minimal disease, either uh, cytology, meaning washings uh, positive, or what we call a low PCI, um, uh, uh, meaning peritoneal carcinomatosis index. Uh, for gastric cancer, you have to have pretty limited disease outside the stomach. but. That is a determination that I think should be made by you know, us in con uh, concert with medical oncology and other experts here. Um, and so I would encourage people to you know, seek a consultation and, and we'll take a look at the films and, and go from there.